Well, nice to see you too, Carvacio. <laughs> So hello everybody, welcome back once more to some seven days to die. Ow. Uh, let me recenter myself, hang on. Okay, there we go. I have to keep doing that constantly, but uh, one of the uh, joys of being a VTuber, sometimes your model just does not want to be uh, behave itself. Anyway, so, welcome back to seven days to die. Think fast, chuckle nuts. Uh, ow. My face. Thank you. Also, yes, uh, and Putus, <laughs> although they missed. And yes, uh, only true Phoenix. Once we know a Blood Moon is happening, we only have four in-game hours to prepare, which I think equates to about like 20 or 30 real-time minutes. Something like that, I'm not sure. So, y'all may notice uh, we are on day three right now. We ended the last stream on day uh, at the start of day two. I, full disclosure, I just did a bunch of looting and running around of all the nearby buildings in between uh, the last two streams off camera. Literally nothing interesting happened. It was the last safe day, so I just did as much looting as I could. I did a couple more missions, and uh, yeah, I just got a, a, a few more supplies. I also, it was also just to, uh, get enough, uh, scrap polymer to finish making our first dew collector, which will help solve our water problem. Now we have a food problem, so, uh, we still, we're still not in the clear yet, but now that we're on day three, <clears throat> pardon me, now that we're on day three, literally any night between now and day seven can be a blood moon. So we are no longer safe. Also, hey, Jenny, welcome. And Lydia and everybody, really. We're food. That's what I'm wondering. And uh, Overlord Malarkey, thank you for the 17 month resub, uh, 15 months in a row. And yes, a blood moon. Essentially, it's a horde night where the zombies all get super fast, very angry, and they know where you are at all times and they are constantly coming for you. The first Blood Moon usually only lasts about two game in-game hours, so it lasts from 2200 to 2400, or zero hour, and every Blood Moon after that gets longer and more difficult. So the first one shouldn't be too bad, but we don't know when it's gonna happen. Normally, it should happen on day seven. The way we do this is it could happen any point between day three and day seven. And then the night directly following a blood moon occurring is the only safe night. After that, any night can be a blood moon. Hot infected fellas in your area call you something like that. They get very angry and they do not stop coming for you. There is no hiding from them. The only way you can hide from them on a horde night is if you find a is if you is if you put a fuck ton of walls between you and them and they ca physically can't get to you until the blood moon ends. Uh, if a day is two in real life hours, it's a 20 minute warning. Okay. Or hide in a high rise. Yeah, that too. I see caveman man of cave has a house cave, a cut above your average cave. This is ba this is really just a temporary base um, until we find something a little bit better. For the moment, this is just where I put my stuff. But yeah, uh, we have got like four in-game hours left until 1800. And then we will know for sure whether or not a Blood Moon is happening tonight. And uh, I will tell you all right now, we are nowhere near prepared bonus to fight ducks. off a Blood Moon. Thank you for the bonus ducks. I don't think I have encountered the Gestation Pit yet, no. Uh, in the Hive mod. <clears throat> Let me, uh, there we go. Okay, so... First of all, uh, I'll, I want to show you all a little bit of a neat update they did to uh, the fire pit. When you add the different items to it, in fact, this is not just the fire pit to all workstations. When you add the different items to it, they actually show up now. So we have the cooking pot. We can then put the, we can then, once we find a grill, we can put a grill on it and then the beaker. And that, this is true for all workstations. So all the uh, so all the additional items that you can put on a workstation will physically show up on their model now. 
which is a small thing, but it's neat. It adds to the immersion factor. So yeah, you may notice I have a fuck ton of piss water. <laughs> That's because I have that water I, I have that water purifier mod in my helmet, and I have been drinking nothing but piss water to keep myself hydrated. <laughs> Because that's the only type of water I've been able to find. I have only just managed to to uh, get enough resources to, bu to, to build a dew collector. And this thing builds up slow. So we need to get a second one. Which is why I'm uh, doing some more missions. To get more money. So we can get a second water filter and get another dew collector going. Gerardi Appreciators Association. <laughs> as long as it works. Are we back with the lemon juice? Yeah, yeah. Essentially, this is the Subnautica, um, uh, what, what, whatever, whatever was it called? The, whatever the suit was called that let you drink your own piss, essentially. Um. The still suit, that was it. Yeah, that one. We also found a, a couple of more mods. Uh, we found the reflex sight, although I then found one immediately better for the shotgun, which was uh, the retracting stock mod, which makes it more accurate when you're firing from the hip and when you're moving, which is going to be necessary. We also found a mod for our sledgehammer, uh, which is the weighted head mod. We also have the burning the uh, burning shaft mod, but this gives uh, the weapon a chance to stun and slow, like with every single hit. And that's on top of its normal chance to stun and slow. So, yeah. For the moment, though, uh, that's enough introduction. I need to hurry up and get to the next mission. But I need to also uh, offload some stuff. We'll put that in there and that. Actually, no, we're going to keep that because I need the, I need that to repair my armor. All right. And I also got a, uh, a uh, the ability to make level three pipe shotguns. So we're not doing terrible. And uh, I have a full set of scrap armor now. Unfortunately, this is literally the best we've got. We're still rocking a level one stone sledgehammer. I have not found any books Aside from the first one we found to make better sledgehammers. So we are, uh, we're not in a good spot. The only, uh, slight ray of hope we have is, um, Hugh over there is selling and is selling two iron sledgehammers, but his inventory is going to update tomorrow. So he may not be selling them then. So if I want to get them, we need to get like another 2000 coins. We should raid a bookstore. Yeah, I'm going to try and look out for a bookstore or any kind of like... Uh, I need to turn the music up slightly. I need to look out for a bookstore, any kind of weapon store or like... Uh, a tool store. Because that's what we really need right now. Better tools and better melee weapons. And better shotguns. But like, we're not going to be getting access to the pump shotgun for a very long time. <laughs> the good news is... Um, the double barrel shotgun is now a much more substantial upgrade from the pipe shotgun. I mean, it already was a substantial upgrade, but by the time you unlock the ability to craft level one double barrel shotguns, um, you will be, you're also able to make level five pipe shotguns. The level one, uh, double barrel is significantly better than even a level five pipe shotgun. In, in both the ability to shoot more bullets at once and in raw stats. So it so you are, you know, you don't need to hold on to the, uh, to a high level pipe weapon. And boink. We're still doing a lot of damage, but uh, we're very slow. We're using up stamina a lot and we don't have a whole lot of items. So we're not in a great space. I'm gonna double loot this place. Ow, where? Hello? Bard. Bard, get back down here, Bard. Goodbye, Bard. I was kind of hoping you'd fly. Oh, well. Caveman needs to hit the gym. Caveman needs to hit zombies. Eventually, I think anyway, uh... If we level up our... Oh, I don't have my armor on. Hang on a sec. I took it off because I was running. There we go. Uh, I think anyway... Uh, stamina costs are reduced by... Okay, so, yeah. So, eventually, uh, when we level up our 
sledgehammer skill enough, we'll start getting stamina back every time we kill somebody with it. Or every time we kill somebody with a shot. No, a sledgehammer. Back. Which will definitely help, considering this thing is a stamina vampire. Hello, friends. How are you? Boink. And boink. Okay. And what would also be good is finding some vehicle books so we can at least make a bike. Although I think... I'm not sure about this. Well, hello there, bicycle chassis. All right, well, I mean, yeah, I'll take that. Um, if I can find a bicycle... If I can find the other part of that, then uh, we won't even need to be... Hang on a second. Yeah, if I can find the handlebars, all we would then need is another tire and one mechanical part. And I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even need the books to make a bicycle then. Granted, that's a very big, that's a very big if, because those parts are rare, but, uh, well, we did just get one, so, and you never know, Hugh may give out a pipe, I have in my, uh, when I was playing, uh, this on my own in another, in another profile, uh, I did just get, get a whole ass bicycle as a, uh, quest reward after I unlocked the ability to do, uh, special missions, but, uh, that unlocks the other trainers. Is that uh, everything that was here? I guess that was everything. So now we reset. Whoop. Hello? Bird? Come here, bird. Farewell, bird. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And uh, free tip. We're only going to be launching things further with the sledgehammers as we get better ones. Hell, I was sending birds launching... I was sending birds like 30 feet in the distance with the bats. So I have no idea how powerful the sledgehammers are going to be. It's going to be fun to find out, though. Bonus ducks! Thank you for the bonus ducks. I do appreciate it. Hello? Where are you? There you are. Happyish! No zombies in here this time. Oh, we're already done. Okay, yeah, this is a very small camp, but that's fine. More loot, more quickly. Stuff that we can sell as well. Blueberries, don't really need those. I'll take the gunpowder at the very least. Okay, popping pills. Pills here! Um, I don't really know what I need medicine-wise. At the moment... Oh, knuckle crafting. Yay. I'm not punch I'm not a punch boy this time, unfortunately, but yeah. How are caveman's bartering skills? Uh well, I have the first level of bartering, so they're not terrible. And uh coffee. We found some coffee. Good. Okay, I just looked at the clock. We are close to 1800 hours. Hey boy. We're going to be... Uh, I'm going to take off my armor while I'm running. Until we start getting really leveled up. We are uh, not going to be... We really don't want to be wearing the armor while we're traveling. Caveman this time be like, That it! Caveman getting mallet! Yeah, last time Caveman was all about punching people in the face. This time, Caveman is... Speak softly, carry big stick. And shotgun. Mostly big stick. Uh, we've got like... I think like two minutes until we know for sure if we have a ca if we have a caveman. What? In if we have a blood moon tonight. I hope not. A shotgun is still a stick. A boom stick. True. So it is still a stick. What is a gun, if not a long-range stick? That fires rocks. Advanced rocks, you could say. In the long history of humanity, all of our weapons have just branched from stick. Stick and rock. Ooh. 
Okay. Years, you must think you're pretty hot shit now. Ooh. Well, you did it, so I'll honor our agreement. Okay, what can I sell you? I can sell you that. Uh, you don't want that. I can sell you that. Okay, uh, we don't have a whole lot of time. Um, do I, I do not have nearly enough money to get that sledgehammer. Um, time to move on. Okay, well, here we go. Okay, thank God. No Blood Moon tonight. Whew. Okay, we're good. We're fine. Alrighty, thank God. Uh, we'll go with the fetch mission, mission since that's closer. We are safe for now, but uh, there's always tomorrow night. We're in the clear for tonight, though, which means that we can just keep on running around and looting everything. Really would like a, bi a, bi a, bi a bi bicycle. Bleh. It's going to end up getting Mjolnir. Praise be to the Corner Pootus. Even when the Corner Pootus is not with us, their, their luck-based powers continue to save us. All right. Let me put that back on. Wait, why did I have that equipped? Okay. What skill magazines do I get from this? Ooh, shotguns. Good. We can make pot we can make quality four pipes. Um yeah, assault rifles and explosives. No sledgehammers yet, for fuck's sake. <sighs> Sooner or later. Hopefully. One can only wish. You know, pipes, pipe shotguns are really cheap to make, so I may as well just make the next level up right now. Uh, do I have any more? Actually, I'm running out of pipes now that I real now that I think about it. How many how many pipes do I need to make it? Actually, I don't have enough pipes or glue. Never mind. Okay, we'll have to find some more. Ugh. Okay. Uh, well, at the very least, we got sham chowder. We got some water. We have a lot of piss water, which I can freely drink with my uh, anti-piss water helmet mod. <laughs> Why do we have a leg casing in, in our inventory? That is a plaster cast. It's essentially a faster acting splint. If we get a broken limb, we just shove that on our broken limb and it uh, heals over time. All right. Actually, I guess I'm going to go ahead and take the armor off again. Oh, we leveled up as well. Um, let's see. Uh, what what could be... I may want to actually just keep leveling up strength. Yeah, let's pump that into strength. Get that up to level 5 so we can get the next level of shotgun and sledgehammer as quickly as possible. And, uh, yeah, just gonna do that so I'm not, like, dragging my feet while I'm heading to the next... I did loot, uh, Jim's Gun Fortress already. I looted, like, a lot of the buildings that were immediately nearby us. And again, I have to emphasize, literally nothing interesting happened. I killed zombies and I looted stuff. That's basically all that happened. No, not in this run, Seth. Um, Seth Van. The Blood Moon is normally every seven days, but the way I have it set up is it can occur... It is supposed to occur on the fourth day, but the Blood Moon range is three days. So it can occur three days after the fourth day or three days before the fourth day. So it can occur basically any time. You can change the frequency and the... Uh, the randomness of the Blood Moon occurrences when you start a world. I think I'm just going to double loot this place. <clears throat> I need a wrench, but I have no forge, so I need to find one more workstation magazine before I can make a forge. Yeah, well. Nope. Nope. Fucking... Hold still. And die. Thank you. Into the floor with you. Hi. 
answering the door, you just smash their face in with a hammer, you close the door. It's the caveman way. Greetings and farewell. Anything down here? Okay, more pipes. Good. I need more glue, though. I did also get one point in Lucky Looter, so we're getting five, we have five percent, oh, more glue, nice. We have five percent better loot, uh, which isn't much, but it's something. All right, if you can give me bicycle handlebars, that would be fucking amazing, damn it. But you did give me an extra wheel, so that's something. So... All we need are the bicycle handlebars now, and we could just make a bike. Oh, actually, no, we couldn't, because I would need a workstation. I would need a workbench to make a bicycle. God damn it. Oh, wait, no, I don't. I can just make that. Yeah, no. Okay, never mind. We would just need one mechanical part and bicycle handlebars, and we can make a bike. That's gonna be one hell of an ask, but, uh... I mean, I would appreciate it, game, if you wanted to be that nice to me. Probably doesn't, but, you know, I can all- Oh, wait, hang on. There is a chance. Oh, pardon me. There is a chance. Mm, nope. That's not even a vehicle. Excuse me. You gave me- This is a pop- This was a pop- uh, uh, Whatever. This was a gas and go crate. And it has a shovel in it. It has nothing to do with vehicles. <laughs> It's like finding a sham sandwich in a shotgun messiah crate, which is not outside the realms of possibility. Ow. I may as well get more scrap polymer. Because I'm going to need that. Alright, well, what we got in here, I wonder. Lead and metal. Good. Hello? Oh, that's just the flies. I thought something was, uh, getting closer to me. I was very unsettled. Greetings. Oh, I missed. There we go. And Pootus. Okay, man wants to ride his bicycle after hearing the Queen's song. Ow. What we got up here? Oh. Hello. No. Perish. <laughs> just... Just become nothing. Yeah, that's right. You just... You just kneel there and think about what you've done. You know, for a... For an... Uh, for a small... Uh, for a small prefab, this has quite a winding path to get through it. Gotta say. How much longer till the sun sets? 2200 hours. So we don't have a whole lot of time to get this done if we want to turn in if we want to turn in the mission on the same day, but we are at the end of it now, so we can loop back around and start it for real. I just really want to double loot this place because we are low on everything. I'll take the tuna, I guess. Find more ammunition and loot. That's not bad. Another pipe baton. I can sell that and I'll just scrap the arrows. Okay. Back down. And now we actually start the mission. Everything has restocked. We got more. Oh, well, I mean... Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take that. I will eat. Hello. Goodbye. Office chairs are fantastic sources of leather, by the way. You get you when you scrap down an office chair, you get six leather each. So it's a great start so it's a great starting source of leather. Paper. That No. Die. Yeah, I do also need to get some uh, pack mule perks eventually. It's also part of the reason I'm just choosing to level up strength. Because I think you can actually max out the uh, the pack mule perk at, at strength level 5.
Uh, we're running out of time here. I, uh, uh, I don't think I'm going to have enough time to turn on the mission because uh, the shop closes at 2150. So we've got like maybe a minute. Another wheel. Yeah, headshotting zombies always does more damage. And repair tool stuff, I guess that's all right. Uh, yeah, we, we're we're not gonna have enough time, I don't think. Oh, hello. How? How dare you? How dare you strike me and make my vision go all no? Can you turn it on? Uh, can you turn it in tomorrow? Yeah, I can. I just would like to turn it in tonight or today. Yeah. Nope. Get rid of that. Up. Oh, hi. How are you doing, sir? Farewell. Yeah, we're not gonna have enough time. Oh well. We can just offload all, a lot of the loot back home and then just spend the rest of the night uh, looting other places. How are you not dead? How are you not dead? Die, damn it. Jesus. Christ. I need a better weapon. Like, I need a better sledgehammer. Like, badly. You know, hang on. Uh, how much do I need to make? Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and... Uh, well, no, I only need one of those. Let's go ahead and make another first aid bandage. There we go. Any good items in here? Well, more... Ooh, steroids. Actually, that's not bad. That's pretty good until I can get... Uh, uh, shotguns do- Oh, uh, shotguns just do 10% more damage. Okay. That's a very good find. I will take that. Thank you very much. And I'm just going to sell that. So, we'll keep it on me. And night has fallen. Night time cometh. And we're not done with the mission yet, but we're getting there. Okay, so the, uh... There it is. It's up there. Eh. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Mission completed, but uh, trader's closed, so we're going to have to turn it in tomorrow. I'm just going to run back home, offload my shit, and then we're going to run around, loot some stuff, and just pray to God we don't get a, we don't get a blood moon tomorrow night either. Alright, I think it's time for spookier music. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this works. Time for night looting. But first, back to the dead rooster. Back to chicken home. And that is a ripple voice toggle. Oh god, I'm so fucking slow. There is Twitch integration, but it's a little much. So I need to, like, mess around with it a little bit more and see if there's a way I can limit it. It's specifically a little much for, um... For, the, for, for this type of run. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Alright. Get this shit off my back! Oh, I didn't have the ar- I had my armor off that whole fucking time. Of course I did. Uh, I'm dumb. We'll just put all the stuff we're gonna sell down here. Boot this. Uh, we should have, uh... Do we still have that pre-war money? Ow. Maybe I already sold it. I think I already sold it. Unless I'm stupid. Oh, no, there it is. Okay. Apparently, I was not wearing protection. You are correct. But uh, we're, we are now, so everything's fine. 
stick all that in there. Put, I guess we'll take the shovel with us, just in case we need it. And we can't take that out of our inventory. And I may as well make that next level of shotgun. Or I can... Because I know I'm going to need to make the uh, level 5 version, but I mean, this would still be a significant upgrade, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Well, not really significant, but like a decent enough upgrade. So let's see, level 4 is, yeah. It does a bit more damage per pellet and it has higher durability than the level 3 version, so yeah. And we can, oh yeah, and we can attach an extra mod to it, which, hold up, hang on a minute here. Can I come, can I put both of these on? Yes, I can. Okay, so yeah, that was definitely worth doing. I'm going to sell that, actually. Every bit of money counts right now. We are up to... Holy oh, crap! Of what? Of what? Seth a cheer, kek Seth a cheer. Um, what? Wait a sec. And banished to the nether. Uh, I need to go in my thinking box for a second after that. Charchu, did you mean to do that? Did did did? I want to make doubly sure. Did you mean to send a hundred bucks? Uh, yes. O uh, okay, you did. Uh, okay. Well, by the power of the sun and money, thank you, Charchu. I... Holy shit. I have no fucking clue what to say. Thank you. I, we, we rarely get straight up donations like that anymore. I thank you very much. Holy fuck, dude. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I am actually, like, worth that much. That's the only thing I can hope, that's the only thing I can think to say. Hopefully I do, I uh, continue doing enough to make you not regret that, I guess. I don't know, my brain's kind of scattered right now. Point being, thank you. Now. Yeah, welcome back, Jenny. Uh, Charger just sent a hundred bucks. So, uh, yeah. That happened. And I'm gonna put everything I'm gonna sell in the, uh, the bottom crate. We'll have this be the, uh, sell this crate. Okay. Anyway. I can't talk right now. I'm drinking piss. Okay. Now we put the uh, headlamp back on because it is time to do some nighttime looting. But first, we have a level to spend. Strength. Get us up to strength level 5 so I can get level 3 of these two abilities. Ow! My face! It hurt! Oops, no. Oh, I also did find a, uh, a college jacket so we have 10% faster sprinting speed. So that's good. Alright, uh, let's go with this building here. We have not yet hit this big brick building. The NFD Engine 4. Now, where's the entrance? Is this it? Nope. For a second there, I thought you said NFT. If this was an NFT engine, First, I would loot it, and then I would burn it to the ground. <laughs> Hello. 
Anybody here? It is eerily quiet. I don't like that. Not a fan, gotta say. No! Oh. Hi! Good morning! Jesus Christ, y'all were just kind of snoozing away in here, huh? Fuck! Thanks, Pally! Have months. Oh, thank you, Lord Cupson. I appreciate it. Well, alright then. It's a pretty good day so far. Thank you both. Uh, targets within three meters have a high dismember chance. All right, we're just powering up my shotgun abilities and boink. Oh, speaking of which. Oh, wait, I need to. Oh, wait, you're stuck on something. So pardon me, I just need to load this. Do, 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 and boink. That bandolier is coming in very handy because it is speeding up this uh, jank ass reload really quickly. You walk him up. Well, maybe he shouldn't have been in my way. And robotics and electronics, I think. Not really what I wanted. Despite being specced into sledgehammers, and despite the fact that's supposed to make me find more sledgehammer magazines, I am finding woefully few of them. This makes me nervous. Yeah, I'm finding more like rifle magazines and sledgehammer magazines. On his way to being a shotgun surgeon. I mean, yeah, pretty much. Anyway, big building. Right, back we go. Need to find the entrance. Here we go. Eh. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna do this, but when I get a wrench and a bit more better equipment, I'll show you what the police cars do. Yeah, I really do need a wrench. We'll get one eventually. Boink. Good Christ. There goes your face. Pardon me. Hmm, can I climb this? Nah. Oh, but there's a ladder over here. Yeah. Oh, Bard. Fuck you, Bard. Off the ledge with you. This is now my perch. Okay, I guess you're just gonna be there now. That's fine. Okay. Mm, oh, hold on. Egg? Can I find egg? No. Sorry, egg? Mm. Hello, friend. Goodbye, friend. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. We have a base. We have the most basic sledgehammer, but we're still smacking people's faces with it, and it is fun. But I would very much like a better sledgehammer. You, can you please still be uh, selling an iron sledgehammer that I can afford tomorrow? I'm begging you here, dude. Because the game refuses to give me one. Or give me the ability to make one, rather. Ow! Oh, shit. Nope. Okay. Worrying thing about those guys is uh, when you hear that heartbeat sound after you damage them a bit, that means they're about to explode and they're going to start sprinting at you because they, uh, they, they're, they're basically uh, suicide bombers. So you gotta either run away from them or kill them quickly before they blow up. Oh, hi. <laughs> okay. Uh, nice to meet you. 
anything in the fire truck. There's vitamins in the fire truck. In this whole fucking fire truck, in this whole ass fire truck, someone just left a single bit of vitamins. Really? I guess they are slightly better pants. I'll take them. Okay, not that way. Anything down here? Ah. Bag with a single bandage in it, but I can make that into a better bandage. Having the ability to do that is nice. Oh, right. Polymer. Gonna need more of that. So I may as well. Leather, gimme what we got in here. Good. Electrical parts. I'm at least finding some of those without a wrench. Now, uh... How oh good, it's raining. Now, how do I, uh... I know there's a, there should be a way to turn this off. Either that, or I have to, like, platform my way over it. I don't want to do that, so there's, there should be a way to turn that off. Or I guess I could just break the pipe. I have a feeling that would make it explode, though. <laughs> oh. Hey, there we go. Found it. <clears throat> okay. Up we go. Anybody home? I do not trust this room at all. Alright, where are they? I know they're in here somewhere. Okay, here, maybe this will wake y'all up. No? Okay. Where are you? You're in here somewhere, I know you are. Or not. Huh. Okay, never mind. Room's empty. No, it's not. Of course it fucking isn't. Nope. Fuck you. Go oh, down, 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 down. Hi. Nice of you to join me. Oh, Rogue Tyler. Uh, be, I uh, will be safe, my dude. Hope nothing happens. Hello? Hi. Jesus. <laughs> Is that sledgehammer? No, shotgun. I mean, I'll still take it. That's good. Uh, that's that's still good. I'll still take that. But I would like better sledgehammers soon, please. If you would not mind too terribly. If it would not offend you too greatly, my friend. More coffee. <laughs> the lumberjack dudes being launched. Thing is, those guys are usually very tough, so the fact that I'm one-shotting them is, uh, quite nice. Oh, nice. Got some antibiotics. Don't need them right now, but I know we will eventually. Oh, we got in here. Ooh. Magazine capacity for, for the pump shotgun. We don't have that yet, but that's still good. All right, all right, all right, all right. Give me some, give me some good. Give me something good. Give me something good. Give me something good. Uh, more robotics and, elect and trap crafting. Hum. Come on. I can just make those. Come on. <laughs> I need sledgehammer parts for fuck's sake. And this is a brilliantly placed door, by the way. Assault rifle and more shotgun crafting. I mean, I'll take that. Actually, how much longer do I need? How much more of those do I need to make the uh, pump and make the double barrel? I only need two more shotgun magazines to make the double barrel. Wow. All right, then. We're, we're close.
Anything useful back here? Footlocker? Blade crafting. I am finding literally every other book but the sledgehammer book somehow. How is this happening? Well, I guess we're done in here. And once again, I am just laden with loot. So, time to leave. Is there a button I can push? No? Okay. Seth, sledgehammers aren't real. What you're holding is not a sledgehammer. You've just been exploding zombies' heads with your mind. It's been terrifying, really. Well, it's almost daytime, at least. Eh. Just gotta... Just gotta slowly... Slowly fucking... Make my way back home. And it's daytime now, so back to uh, more... Uh, so, uh, so back to other types of music. Who with this? It's just a rock duct tape to a duct tape to, to a stick. I mean, if it works, it works. You call swinging around a you call swinging around a stick a. Sorry, you call swinging around a rock tied to a stick of martial arts as long as it work. You got a big iron? Ah, uh, we got a pipe gun. Like a, a pipe pistol. So, uh... As, no, I wouldn't exactly call this a big iron. It's more like a... Uh... M uh rusted... Tin foil. So, you know, a couple levels below a big iron, but eh, it's close enough. Ow. Thanks, Jenny. <laughs> okay. Put that in there. Put that in there. Uh, we're going to sell that and that. Uh... We'll put this in there, since that takes up a whole slot by itself. Moderately sized rust. Slip that in there as well. I guess I could just put the glue in the pipes. Well, no, I'll need the pipes to repair the Hot shotgun. Uh, Sonic Cody, thank you for the gift of sub to Dr. Colologist. Do appreciate it. Eh. Yeah, my situation isn't terrible, at the very least. I can say that much. Situation's not bad. But it could absolutely be better. We still don't have a reliable source of food. We're kind of just winging it on water. I am drinking an, inor uh, an inordinate amount of piss. Which is keeping me alive, to be fair. But I would like to drink something other than that. It's, I've drink, I'm drinking nothing but piss for two days, please. At least the dew collector is going, so we got some water, but we really need to get a second one. What about second? Well, what about second water filter? Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Just for running around and finding another place to loot while we're waiting for Hugh to open. Okay, so I've looted. Actually, have I looted uh, the liquor store yet? Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I've already... Th this is like w a one whole prefab, these two stores. So, yeah, I've already looted that. Uh, oh, hold on. Have not looted this yet. Well, it's something. I'll take it. I don't think I've gone in here. 
Seems like it won't take too long, so let's go ahead and head inside and see what we can find. What joys, what adventures, what mysteries await within O'Malley Oats. What a name. I'm surprised you haven't gotten dysentery. You can thank my water filter here for that. It allows safe consumption of murky water, which literally means I could just keep drinking piss water and nothing bad happens. I don't even lose health. It just gives me water. It... Why was there piss water in the water cooler? Look, man, somebody needed to... I guess someone needed a bathroom. And, uh... You know, I don't know. <laughs> what do you want from me? There's piss in the water cooler. <laughs> you figure it out. Office prank's gone a little too far. Miso soup. Soup can! Yeah, just getting some polymer and some paper whilst I am here. That'll do. More leather. Good. What I would really like is, uh, what? Is that it? Oh, it exists! Oh my god. It finally exists. <laughs> we finally get the ability to make quality two sledgehammers. Holy shit, they actually exist. How, what, how much do I, what do I need to make it? I need, I just need plant fibers. Okay, hang on a second. I will bust down a wall to get outside and cut grass. Holy shit. <laughs> the books are actually real. They are not a figment of my imagination. I'm not crazy. And how much of an upgrade is this? A very big upgrade. I will take it, thank you. Okay! After three- after four in-game days, we finally have the second level of the worst type of sledgehammer in the game. I'm fucked. I, I am gonna just call it now. I am straight up fucked. Some eggs and hamers. Okay, at the very least, we got the ability to make a forge now. So we can we can start making some better stuff, and I can make myself a wrench. Eh. Well, you can always find a hole and hide in it. That is unironically going to probably be what I do if we get a blood moon tonight. Well, not necessarily a hole, but I'm going to run into I'm going to run into like the furthest room on the highest floor in that motel we were at earlier and just hide in there for the whole night. We do not already have a forge, no. Oh, hold on. There's stuff in here. Excuse me. Is there someone behind me? Yes, but you're kind of stupid, so I'm just going to go ahead and deal with this guy, and boink. Okay, so... Trader is open now. Yeah, we have an anvil, not a forge, but we can put the anvil in the forge. Q, I'm begging you here, my dude. Let me go get my money first. I am begging you here, my dude. Please still be selling one of those iron sledgehammers. Because I think after this mission, I'll be able to afford it. Please. Please, please, please. It would make me very happy. Just nab my money and nab all the stuff I'm going to be selling to you. I'm going to fully repair that. 
Hello, NECA. We are uh, in the throes of frantic looting because we're not sure if we have a Blood Moon tonight or not. And if we do, we're not exactly prepared at all because we have literally only just gotten the ability to make quality two sledgehammers. Because the game has not been giving me sledgehammer magazines at all. He is still where you did that. Okay, so I suppose you want to be paid. I mean, that would be nice. I'll take the glue, honestly. All right, speaking of being paid, give me more money. All right, sledgehammer, please, dear God, please still have a sledgehammer. Iron sledgehammer. That's all I need from you, but but my but my but my but but boo. Okay, um, ignore what I tried to say there. <laughs> I was trying to say buddy and my brain just was like, no. Yes, I, it's, a, it's a quality two, I'll take it. I will take it. That is a massive upgrade. Ow. Anything else? I can't really afford anything else. So, uh... I guess that's everything I can have. Do you have, do you have any uh, sledgehammer books by any chance? No, of course you don't. Well, heck. I guess I can take the advanced bellows. Okay. Well, it's about time you bought something. More missions? Uh, oh, these are a lot of these are far away. Uh, I don't want to do a berry supplies one. I'll be honest. All right, I guess we're gonna go on a cross country run to get to this one. Honestly, I could just make a grill with the forge that we're going to be able to make now. So buying a grill from him is not super necessary, and that uh, bellows will help. Oh, I did level up. You are correct. Um... Fuck it. Maybe n find more sledges and parts in loot. Maybe I will find more sledges and parts in loot now. At the very least, this does mean that I get 10 stamina back per kill with a sledgehammer, so I can keep swinging them for longer. Boot this. I forgot to sell the money. I'll uh, do that when I come back. Okay, forge. What do we need to make a forge? Froge. Froge. That's not what it is. All right, I need cobblestone rocks, a singular wood log, I, and I need a... Shit, I need more pipes. Uh... Feck. Okay, hang on a minute. Um... What do we need to make? Okay, I just need soil to make cobblestone. I may as well, uh... <clears throat> Much obliged, yeah. partner. Yeah, just need to dig a bit. Give myself some clay. And uh, hey, Sayrun, thank you for the 50 month resub status update. Now celebrating 50 months of quality entertainment. Well, thank you very much for sticking around for that long, Sayrun. I do appreciate it. Ah, uh, yes. How to make a frog. My favorite. No, no, no. It's a frog. A froge. Very different. It's a very fancy frog. <laughs> got a little hat and everything all right how much did i need uh 50 i think i got enough yes good okay then what else did i need i needed uh one wood log 10 leather really the only thing i need is a pipe I may as well just go do this mission while I've got the time. Or I can scramble around to try and find a pipe. Since you're still sponsored by France at all. True, true. And uh, I almost forgot. And this has two upgrade slots, which means... I could get that burning shaft mod. Actually, hang on a second. I think I, uh... Ergo... Oh, I need a workstation to build that. And I need forged steel, so never mind. 
That would be nice because it would reduce the uh, stamina that it takes to swing this hammer by like 10%. But unfortunately, it is not to be. So we'll just set my hammer on fire. All right, let's take a look. Let's, let's, let's just compare the stats for a second, why don't we? Yeah. <laughs> it costs way more stamina to swing, but it does a fuck ton more damage. I like how I like how the the fire effect is just kind of pasted onto it. Okay. Um Why is it on fire? Why isn't yours? If you set your hammer on fire, it instantly becomes a better hammer. Everyone knows this. It's just common knowledge. All right. Armor off. Time for cross country sprinting. Oh, that is so far away. Every weapon instantly becomes better when you set it on fire, even guns. It makes the it makes their bullets catch on fire. I set the gun on fire, it makes me bullet shoot hotter, yeah? It makes the bullets explode. Thanks, Pally. It's my birthday. Have a birthday pizza on me. Well, thank you, Harbo, and happy birthday to you. You should be giving yourself something uh, nice with that money. But, at Puthis. But thank you still, I do appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful birthday. Happy birthday to you. Yep. Hello and boop. Dead instantly. Ooh, I'm very worried. I'm very worried because I don't have a whole lot of time until 18 o'clock. And if a blood moon's happening tonight, I'm thinking I'm just going to die. It's, it is very much a, well, guess I'll die situation. <clears throat> Although at the very least, goddamn caveman can sprint jesus caveman been work caveman been working on cardio never skip leg day oh you gotta be kidding me oh goody all right time to go for a swim after i send this guy into the next dimension hold on Jesus Christ, that was so overkill. No, I don't think so, Jenny. I think if you try to... I, th I think still, to this day, if you try to make anything on water, it just... It still breaks the physics. Chicken? What are you doing all the way out here? Well, you have a good swim, chicken. <clears throat> Okay, it wasn't that bad, at least. Hell. So both become plain? No, both become pieces and just falls into the water. You cleanly decapitated that zombie with a hammer that is on fire. Look, caveman man of cave may be an unga, but he is a very perceptive, dexterous, and sophisticated unga. He is the most brilliant inventor of his generation. He just also happens to be a bit simple. Yep. I missed. <laughs> I was trying to be stupid. I was trying to be silly. Okay. Nope, this ain't the house. Fuck. Jack and Sally's getaway. Well, we'll hit that place on the way back. Ah, fucking far away is this place. How many rivers are between me and it? 
Oh god, I think I actually just crushed that guy's nuts. Ow. <laughs> Despite what some would say, to unga and bunga properly requires a little bit of inventiveness as well. Also alternatively, al also alternatively, I like what Watchdog says, just because he unga doesn't mean he bunga. Hey <laughs> I, I gotta wonder, when are zombies just gonna start flying? Because I've had it, I've, I've done it with the clubs, is it gonna happen with the sledgehammers? There's also Oog. Okay, Sean's Shack. Shack Sean. Sean of Shack. Shack Sean. Sean of Shack. Or Shack Sean. 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 Anyway, where's the entrance? I'm not even going to bother double looting this place. It's way too far away. I'm just going to grab what I need and go. Hello, friends. Friends, I need to kill all friends in here. So, uh, if you'd kindly reveal yourselves. Thank you. Insert Smash Bros. baseball sound effects when you hit a zombie. Oh, believe me. Like, if... Oh, Duster. Nice. Okay, so if we ever go into any, uh, environmentally unfriendly areas. By that, I mean they're either really hot or really cold. That'll be good. And T. Corn. You know, that reminds me. I was talking with my friends a while ago about uh, one, of my, one of my friends um, is a uh, former resident of the UK who moved to the US 10 years ago. Um, and uh, they were telling me their experience of adjusting to US, to US food. And it was like... Even the fucking, even your guy's pork tastes weird and different compared to what I was, compared to what I was used to. And I realized, and that's a voice toggle, and I, and I came to realize later, it's because you feed your pig so much fucking corn. And I'm like, and like, I, I, ca I got to thinking about it, I'm like, yeah, no, that is right. Here in America, our food is 50% sugar, 50% corn, and nothing else except microplastics. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> and lots of salt, yes. Would you like some salt with your sugar and corn? <laughs> uh, actually, do I not have scrap leg armor yet? I don't. Okay, so never mind. I did not. I was not fully equipped. Shotgun crafting. Ooh, yes, we're so close. We just need one more of those and we can make the double barrels. That will actually help us against the coming horrors very well. I just need one more. One more. Shitty floors. I'm gonna file a complaint against this place now. Uh, let's not drop down there. There's spikes down there. <laughs> I almost dropped into fucking spike traps. Hang on, how, how quickly can I open this door? Mm, nope. <laughs> Never mind. That is a very sturdy door. Okay, back home. Quick. I once again forgot to equip my armor. Oh well. Go, 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 go. Once again, a very clean decapitation with a fiery, massive fuck-off hammer. Oh. You have no idea how amazing you are. Thank you. I'll grab that and then we'll head back. Harbo, thank you for the 100 bits. Four! Yeah. All right, so the airdrops got significantly better in this update because they are guaranteed to have, like, 
bundles, which can you which usually includes at least like one skill magazine bundle. So maybe, just maybe, if I if I hope against all hope, I can get one more shotgun magazine and be able to make myself. Oh wait, but I still need a workstation to make it. Fuck. Well, maybe they'll have workstation magazines as well. Do not drop it in the fucking lake. Do not drop that in the fucking lake. Is this thing seriously going to drop in the lake? Do not do that. It's gonna drop in the- it's dropping in the fucking lake. Are you serious, my dude? Pilot, did you not see there was a goddamn lake below you? It's kind of hard to miss. It's a giant body of water. How the hell did you miss that? Ah, <sighs> fuck. All right, well, I still need it, so I'm going for it. This is a huge... Is this a lake or an ocean? Did I find the beach? This is a huge body of water, excuse me? <laughs> Where am I? Alright. Come on. Come on. Come on, give me something good. Yes! Alright. I would open them here, but I'm about to I'm about to drown, so let's uh get ourselves back to shore. By the power of hopes and dreams, this skill magazine will give me what I need. Oh god, am I sinking? Ugh, I guess when you run out of stamina, you start sinking. Oh god, come on, come on, come on, come on, get back to shore, god damn it. There we go. And by the power of the sun, you will give me good magazines. You gave me armor, salvage, and harvesting. Well, I mean, at least we can make level two wrenches now. Banished to the nether! And off to the nether I go. What do I get in the melee weapons mod? Pack. Bundle. Eh. Fairly lackluster stuff, really. Ow. But hey, we at least got some coffee and some stew, so that's good. Swimming sucks in this game. It does. There's a reason they don't want... There's a reason that, like... Typically, you just kind of ignore water. You don't build over water, and you d and you try to sw avoid swimming whenever whenever possible. Why is the hammer on fire? It's the uh, burning shaft mod, not like a mod for the game, but like a mod for the weapon in game. In fact, we just got a second one. And I mean, really, if you have a giant hammer, why would you not set it on fire? That's just that's just a power move right there. Why though? Why not? If you're gonna be hitting something, if you're gonna be hitting zombies with something, you may as well set it on fire. Help. To answer seriously, yes, it does do. That was close. <laughs> to answer seriously, Yes, it does make the hammer do more damage, but I am going to mark this camp here, uh, and we're going to come back here later. Because there's usually goodies. And it's a four difficulty- yeah, okay, we're definitely coming back here later. Science isn't about why, Cave Johnson man. <laughs> man of K. And Harbo, thank you for the 100 bits. Oxygen. Oh, and Sonic Cody, thank you for the 100 bits as well. And it's and it's a home run. 
eventually I have to imagine they'll start just getting launched like because like, I've I've done it with the clubs their their physics just kind of breaks and they go flying think fast chuckle nuts no this zombie should think fast it didn't and it's now dead okay Let's hurry. We've only got four in-game hours before we, uh... Well, we'll know for sure if we have a Blood Moon by then. I'm hoping we don't. Excuse me, sir. You are kind of, uh, in the way. Pardon me. Thank you. I still love, to this day... Galaxy, you reminded me. I still love, to this day, that in Metal Gear Rising... When Senator Armstrong fucking football kicks Raiden, there is an actual stadium cheering sound effect in game, and that's not a mod. <laughs> that actually happened in game, and to this day, I, I still fucking love that. <laughs> The fuck is that overly complicated pipe bomb of a rifle? This is a pipe shotgun with a red dot sight on it. As you can see. Eh, thank you. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this stew. I'm looking at that clock. I don't like the owl. What does ATAT -AT stand for? All terrain, uh. After tennis. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm in a very giggly mood right now. I don't know what it is about the seven day streams, but they they just erode my brain even more so than usual. <clears throat> Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the greatest sport of Star Wars, tennis. <laughs> okay, A-T-T-E, wrong answers only, Seth. Okay, ask the telephone engineer. Ooh, okay. More skill magazine. All right, there is a pasta. <gasps> yes, okay, it's a guarantee. It's, it, it really is a guarantee. When you get the, when you do enough missions and you get this, you are just given a bike. It is actually a guarantee. Special jobs, open trade routes. Fantastic. All right, we have a bike. We'll, you, we can use these to outrun the zombie horde. And I'll be here any moment, Gordon. Birds fly, sun shines. Uh, no, it was uh, grass grows, birds fly, sun shines, and brother, the darkness is coming. You need to run. We, you are not selling a pipe at, uh, at all, are you? No, of course you're not. Fuck. That's right. Do the math. Okay. <clears throat> oh god that reminds me so much D <laughs> have any of you seen that video of uh, that one dude streaming uh, Sonic Boom and they're running and Sonic's running over water and he's like look ramps and Tails goes we could use these as ramps <laughs> And the dude just pauses the game. The dude pauses the game with this exact expression, like... <laughs> Alright, second level unlocked. Was that Alpha Rad? I wouldn't be surprised if that was Alpha Rad. 
Okay, we have a bike at long goddamn last. But I need another pipe to make a forge so I can start making some better stuff. <sighs> I don't know if we've gotten the blood moon yet. We're still waiting. Can I just make a pipe? I think I need a forge to do that, don't I? Ye yeah. No, wait, no. Oh, wait, we need forged iron. Wait! I'm fucking saved. Holy shit. <laughs> we'll make three iron... We'll make three short iron pipes. No, this music is from Half-Life. Is from Half-Life. All right, what do I need to make that forge again? I needed the iron pipes. I needed the duct tape. Three duct tape, ten leather, one wood log. Okay, I got all of that. Hurry. I can hear them. They're trying to break in. Where the fuck did the duct tape go? I had it. My brain stupid? Yes, there it is. And the cobblestone? Uh, here. And the leather. Make that forge. I'm gonna go deal with the unruly guests outside. Hi, this is my property. Fuck off. I missed. Hang on, let me try. Let me spend 10 years reloading. Excuse me. Oh, can I go for a twofer? As a twofer. Two heads clean off. <laughs> Madam, this is private property. You know, for that, I, sir. Fuck you. <laughs> Ma'am? No. Nice duck. Oh. <laughs> and you? Don't even think about it. Cool robot. Thank you. Appreciate it. How could you have missed? You were like two feet in front of them. Because I'm me. Nope. The rest of that's decent. Okay. Forge ready? Forge is ready. All right, let's start making some stuff. Hey, get the fuck away from my dude collector. Bitch. I do have a question, though. What's your question, soldier? Yeah, this is a new save. We'll put it here. And I'm gonna get rid of this table. I tell her I have done nothing. No, it was a. Uh, I teleported bread. What? You told me to. How much? I have done nothing but teleport bread for three days. I'm very ow. I'm sad we did that didn't actually end up becoming a TV series. That would have been fucking hilarious. Like an actual dedicated TF2 uh TV series. The funny thing is it was going to, but uh there were a lot of uh, there was a lot of friction between Valve and uh Adult Swim, so the whole deal just kind of fell through. Would you like a plate of eggs and ham? I mean, I, w I would take that right now because we are low on food. Ever heard of the story of the Finnish guy named Elmo, not sure if I spelled his name right, who got high for two weeks straight after taking 30 pills of pharmaceutical grade meth back in World War II? I have not. Okay, what else? What else should I leave behind? I'm gonna leave all this. I'm just going to toss that. Um, leave the pipes. Actually, no, take the pipes. Uh, leave the money. I only have one fucking lockpick. Jesus Christ. Sorry, brain kind of di uh, dying. Uh, what am I looking for here? What do I need to make that double barrel? 
All right, I just need the forged iron and ow, but I need the workstation. Ugh. That's gonna take me a while to get. What do I even need to make that? Um, or rather, how many magazines do I need to make that? Actually, okay. Uh, to get the workbench, I just need four more. So if I raid like, uh, I don't know, hardware stores, I should eventually find enough. Hopefully. Oh God, I just looked at the time. Okay, well, how durable is your head? Well, it is metal. Well, I mean, the parts surrounding my face are metal. This is like, uh, re Think this fast, is- fast, chuckle nuts. Well, ow, ah, ah. ow. As I was saying, this is basically like, uh, a reinforced glass screen for my eyes Bonus to project ducks. onto. Bonus ducks. So, uh, the fact that it hasn't cracked yet, though, is kind of a miracle, considering how much chat loves to throw pans and bats at me, and fat Russian men. Okay. We're not there yet. But it's getting close. Moment of truth. To the nether. And off to the nether we go. Thank you, Draxus Erdor, Lord of the Burning Legion. <sighs> Moment of truth here in like 30 seconds. Hell, even less than that, actually. Like 20, something like that. All right. Oh. Oh. Okay. Thank God. <coughs> oh. We're safe. We're safe for one more night. Oh, good God. We good, we good, we're good, we're good. False alarm, false alarm. We're all fine for one more night. <sighs> yeah, we have been getting lucky with the blood moons, but, uh... <clears throat> but by the power of the sun, we have been blessed. Ow, my face. I got nothing else, I'm emotionally exhausted we have a bike <laughs> caveman ride bike barefoot it hurt caveman not recommend he glow so radiant indeed infu I, I can be regularly infused with the power of the sun or the power of determination depending on how chad is feeling on that particular day but okay since we're now we're safe and we have a bike let's go open up the trade route Uh, so, for people who are wondering what we were, what I was so worried and then so relieved about is, uh... Well, the way I have, um, set this run up is normally, uh, in Seven Days to Die, a Blood Moon... Hang, hang on a second, let me get some music going. In fact, actually, let's change it up a little bit. Uh, what was the City 7... Where was the City 17 ambience? There we go. Okay, so for those who are wondering, in Seven Days to Die, the way this normally works is there is a Blood Moon or a Horde Knight where all the zombies get really pissed and they keep running, they just get super fast and run at you constantly. Hold on, I have a heckler to take care of. The way I have it set up though is um, it can, it is supposed to occur on the fourth day. But, the range is set for three days. So it can occur three days before the fourth day, or three days after the fourth day. So anywhere between the third and seventh day of, uh, well, of the first week, the Blood Moon can occur. And then after that, after any given Blood Moon, the only safe night we have is the night directly following it. 
After that, it can occur any night. I like that more than just having a guaranteed blood moon every night because this 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 adds a bit of tension, you know? Adds a little bit of suspense and mystery. Like, oh, when are they actually gonna show up? We don't know. <clears throat> Sounds super stressful. Oh, it certainly fucking can be. Last two nights, we've uh, been watching that clock like hawks. And uh, it also gives us time to prepare. This is true. Less time. We just don't know how much time we have to prepare. What's the likelihood of a blood moon happening on day seven? If a blood moon has not happened by the seventh day, the way I have this set up, it is guaranteed to happen on that night. Howdy, ma'am. If you, uh, yeah, could you, uh, does this look like a hammer to you? Thank you. <laughs> Cavemen now have foot bronchitis. <laughs> bronchitis. So all I know is uh, some surface level things. I've been playing this for a bit. Uh, it recently got its uh, it recently got its update, <clears throat> uh, or its twenty first uh, update on the PC, which changed a lot of the progression system. I love this hammer now. This hammer, very good. More medical uh, supplies, so that's nice. Or rather, the ability to make medical supplies. I miss learn by doing. Haven't had any fun on seven days uh, since then. Uh, what was that system? It was like, I wasn't around for then. Um, it was like, I'm assuming it was the more you do something, the better at it you get. Can you run over zombies with the bike? Yes, it is very ineffective, and they have upped the amount of damage that running into zombies with a vehicle will do to your vehicle. So, it's not worth it, usually. <clears throat> oh no, you, uh, don't worry about Overlord Malarkey, you can eventually get a motorbike and a car in this game. It just takes a while. Hey, Joel, you got an upgrade, my dude. Holy shit. This is significantly better than the fucking treehouse shack you had before. I'll take your books. Don't mind me. Sledgehammer crafting skill. I mean, it's less necessary now, but I'll take it. I'll let you know in a second, Joel. Just, uh checking some stuff. Uh, anyway, how you doing, sir? Uh, well, I have anything I want to sell you. Not currently. Do you have anything I want to... Well, I don't have any money on me, so never mind. If we ain't got what you're looking for, we can get it. Well, I'm sure you can. Let me just look around, see if there's any other things for me to steal from. I mean... steal from. Oboe's voice toggle, thank you. Uh, nope. <clears throat> Who was the mean one that always insulted you? That was Wrecked. And, uh, they, uh, specialize in food and seeds this time. Hugh is, uh, weapons and ammo and armor. Jen is, uh, medic. Uh, is, uh, medicinal stuff. Uh, Joel is clothing, and I know there's another one, and I forgot their name. <clears throat> Any jobs nearby that I can just do while I'm here? Yes. It, I, can't thank you enough. I may as well. I may as well. Oh, where's the bike? Here it is. Now I am fully immersed with the robo. I do like having the robo voice, but I realize it can get kind of grady. Uh, it can get kind of grating after a while, so I've made it an option for chat to turn it on and off. I am going to put some stuff in here to save on some inventory space. I don't know why I said it like that. Let's 
So many traitors and they are so far apart. Yeah, they certainly are. They certainly are that, which is why getting a vehicle is uh, pretty fucking necessary. <clears throat> it's bright as hell day, despite it being 2030. I mean, dude, at certain places in the US, it could be like eight o'clock at night and the sun will still be in your eyes and you will want to shoot it. It could also just be summer here, that's true. <clears throat> but then again, I don't know. We basically have like a snow biome somewhere around here that uh, apparently the seasons just magically change the second you cross the border. So, I don't know, we're in some kind of magical Minecraft realm. Destroy the sun, bring about the Age of Dark. <laughs> Okay, uh, slap on my armor and let's go double loot this place. Why don't we? Because, uh, why bother, why bother with looting if you're not going to do it twice? Oh, you playing Minecraft. I like you cut, G. Okay, hi. There were significantly more of you than I was expecting. Well, <laughs> nice to meet you. Also, yeah, there are, like, other zombie games out there, but as, uh, Zafiro says, Zafiro? As Zaf says, um, most of them are just not that good. But there are very few actually really good zombie survival games, unfortunately. There's good games that have zombies in them, but not ones that are just, like, raw survival and zombies. Zafiro. Okay, thank you. Madam, perish. I Where? Oh. Fucking ankle biter. My one the one on on armored part of my body. My one weakness. How dare you? Also English, apparently. <laughs> Friends? More- do I hear some friends up here? Yes, I do. Nice to meet you. Caveman Man of Cave own this place now. Jesus. I love that you just- you- you actually just knock their head clean off their shoulders. Like, clean off. It's not smashed, it's not, like, cracked or, like, scattered apart. You just- the head just pops off the shoulders. Oh, hello. Ow! Fwa! No. I refuse. <laughs> Apparently so does this crate. I'm assuming you're a strength build. Yeah, I'm going hard into strength. Shotguns and sledgehammers is the build for now. Uh, use this technique to increase attack speed with axes by, well, I mean, I got a thing, I guess. I'll, I'll take it. Not gonna turn up my nose at it, but, uh, I am gonna question why you gave it to me. Oh, wait, no, hang on. I forget. I'm so used to, whoa, hold up. Wait, sir, 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 sir. Uh, okay, bye. Um, hold on a minute. I think he may be lost. Hello, sir. I missed. Hold on. Uh. Oh, and he fell. <laughs> this man is very confusing. Um. Caveman, man of cave, not sure what do. Where you go? Oh, there you are. Uh, he does not know. He does. The poor man. 
Okay, well, thank you for coming. <laughs> All right, then, down we go. Oh, that's why he was sprinting. It's night. I just realized we're in a small town. Oh, uh, there's a lot of places to loot here. And we have, oh, right, I hadn't, uh, I hadn't actually started this mission yet. Okay, we're gonna have to come back here. We'll put that and that and that away along with that. <clears throat> and that. Uh, bandage. I'm so used to throwing away the regular bandages because they're just kind of not very useful, but I can make them into first aid bandages. I have that ability. I have the power to make them into useful items. Sir, I have the power to make your head not exist. Or at least the top half of it, apparently. I cleared the house, but the mission isn't done because I need to click the button. Now the mission started. No. You stop that. Eh. Okay, only one that time. Why is there lead in the fucking meth lab? I don't know. Is that... I don't know how you make meth. Is that, like, is lead part of it? I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> meth bullets. Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> is that what poison damage is in this world? You just, you just shoot someone with a bullet laced with meth. <laughs> I mean, it'd work, not gonna lie. It would get the job done. No. No, oh, fucking, you are much fast. Many much speedy. And now you're many much dead. You know, normally I would switch to spooky music since it's nighttime, but uh, the City 17 ambience simple as it is still fits it's just a, it's just this one repeating droning noise but uh, for whatever reason I never get tired of it okay Hello. ow my face your face is even worse than mine though so greeting uh, I apparently missed you with most of those pellets Yeah, I found that I found that's the case with a lot of with a lot of different games of Firo. Um, especially like with Subnautica. When I played through my when I played through Subnautica a couple of years ago, I would constantly have like different Half-Life ambient tracks playing and they would fit so fucking well. Because like I'm not sure I think that just means the Half-Life ambient tracks are while they're very simple, they don't get in the way and well bye. <laughs> they're just really good. God damn, hole in one. Like, that, like, he didn't just even fall in the hole either. Let me go ahead and paint this picture. He didn't even just fall in the hole. He, like, cleanly fell through the center of it. Perfectly. Oh, silver nuggets. That sells for quite a lot. Do 10% more sneak damage at night. What is stealth? Says the heavily armored man with an on-fire massive hammer and a shotgun. <laughs> Since the point of ambience is to blend into the background and make sense, it would be generic. Yeah, that does make sense. So yeah, in that sense, I guess that means the Half-Life ambient tracks are just really, like, despite the how simple they are, that they're really good because they fit into, oh, give me that back, because they can just fit into almost anywhere where you need quiet ambience. Snake? Um, 
Okay, to be fair, I have never seen a snake go down a set of stairs in real life, so I can't judge. But I, I'm still curious if that's accurate. <laughs> Slip off the armor, and away we go. I'm actually going to keep the helmet on because it is very dark and I need to see. There we go. <clears throat> nobody can raise an alarm if there's nobody to raise an alarm. That is a fair point. You're still technically stealthed if nobody is alive to report that you were there. Well, in this game, dogs run up la Yeah, dogs run up ladders by sheer force of spite. So, uh, fair enough. Welcome back, Jenny. Yeah, it's going well, honestly. Stream's been- stream is fun. Though we'll probably be ending here in the next couple of minutes. I'm just gonna get back. I'm just gonna. Oh, wait. I did this mission for Joel and, uh. He's closed. And I am super far away from home. Ow. Well. Alternatively, I could just go back to the town and start exploring, looting, and killing zombies and leveling up and just spend the rest of the night doing that until Joel opens up again. I don't have a whole lot of inventory space left, but, uh... I mean... I, I, it's either that or ride one and a half kilometers back to home. So, uh, yeah, back to the town, I guess. It's experience. A night on the town can be fun, especially when we're shooting everything in the town that is uh, still unliving. <clears throat> Pardon me. But yeah, it is getting to that point, so we may just like hit one more house and then we'll probably call it there. It is really fucking dark. Jesus. I know it's night, but still. Alright, let's just get my armor back on. Do I have any more space on the bike? No, I do not. You can be stealthy. If you become enough of a Christmas eyesore tree, people will ignore, uh, will ignore to avoid acknowledging the cognito hazard you've become. That is a very good point. Yeah, the, the fire uh, on the hammer does basically make it act like a torch, as well as potentially set enemies on fire when you hit them with it. If they don't die immediately, which they have been, sir, that was the least graceful entrance I have ever seen in my life. Not only did you trip and fall out of here, you hit your head on the side of this, fell over here, and you tripped essentially three times while falling once. How did you manage that? That is just impressive levels of Three Stooges behavior. Let's see if this guy does any better. Okay, he actually stuck the landing. Good. Hello? Well, I may as well make more first aid bandages. It's so nice being able to do that now. I swear to God, if uh, Duke's general here is just these two floors and nothing else. Oh, no, here we go. I think we found the way to go. Maybe. Yep. Or, or we just bypass the whole thing. <laughs> I'm okay with that too. Oh, excuse me. Jeez. <laughs> My dude almost did a full fucking cartwheel. <laughs> I wish the physics were doing what it was doing with the bat, because that- I feel like if it was, 
he would have gone flying off the ledge. I may as well just uh, check what's all in here. Food would be good. I can now make pumpkin bread and blueberry pie. Delicious. That does unironically sound good right now. Potatoes. Hello? I'm just gonna squeeze my way in here. I see you there. Fuck off. You as well. Level 11. Alright. What to level up now? Uh, well, I need two to level up to level six in strength, so let's start branching off into other stuff. We can improve our ability to move uh, in heavy armor by 5%. Make our swings with our sledgehammers faster. Uh, we could get pack mule. I might just start getting pack mule, actually. Uh, we could get master chef, which makes uh, cooking recipes uh, cheaper and faster, and we find more cooking magazines. Anything else? Uh, nothing else from the other trees I really want. They are just kind of good tertiary skills. I mean, pain tolerance would be really good, but that's... I think I'll, I think I'll wait on that. Um... How often do you stream? I try to do Monday through Friday. I'm doing it today because I missed, like, a couple of days throughout this week, so I'm doing an extra stream to make up for that, but yeah... I try to do Monday through Friday at around 3 p.m. CST, or Central U.S. time. <clears throat> you know what, actually, yeah, let's go, let's just go Pack Mule. Let's start building that up. Because apparently, Pack Mule does actually stack with any inventory mods I have, so that does help. We'll no longer need them once we get uh, Pack Mule up to max, but it's still nice to know. Eh. Alright. I detect an inordinate amount of un an inordinate, rather, amount of undead friends in this vicinity. And uh, by the power of my fiery great hammer, I will purge this entire city. More like a small town, but it close enough. It's like half a city. Well, more like a fifth of a city. Is there anything up there? Eh. 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 I think I see a crate. I think I see a shipping crate. Hang on. Hold on. I know how to do this. I've seen... I, I played a Minecraft or two in my day. Um, I guess I'll put that there. Yep, that makes sense spatially. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Totally makes sense. Not breaking physics whatsoever. <laughs> uh huh. That makes complete and total sense. <laughs> can I get to that? Yes, I can. Oh. Hello. Ah, I see. Well. Um, good morning. You did not give a fuck. Either that or you were a heavy sleeper. <laughs> I love how he perfectly, he perfectly landed on the hay barrel. <laughs> or the haystack. <laughs> he's just lounged back, looks like he's, in, looks like he's about to... <laughs> Damn it. Calm down back there, Mitchell. I just like, he's... He's lie. He's lied back. Like he's about. Looks like he's about to take a nap. Excuse me, madam. Perish. <clears throat> Reminds me of that one. Uh, that one gif of that dude who um, just launched somebody onto a bench and they just start. On, I forget what game it was, but they launched. I think it was one of the Call of Duties. They just launched someone onto a bench. And they just kind of. Their their body just kind of fell like this onto it. They're just like <laughs> this dude's just like I don't want to do this no more. Bart. Goodbye, bird! <laughs> off! Off the ledge with you! This is now my perch. I claim it. Yeet! <laughs> okay, so the birds are getting launched. That's good. And it's good!
Okay. Um. Nope, nothing up here. I would say that I've kind of out. I would say that I've kind of messed up my perception of what the intended path of progression through this prefab is, but then again, I did bypass like half of it, so it's kind of my own fault. Eh. Let's head back up. Oh, hold up. Anything? Nope. Anything in here? Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, ow. Wait. Hold on. Excuse me, madam. I need a moment. I need a... I said I need a moment. Thank you. I said I need a moment. Please. How are you not dead? All right. Round three. There we go. Much better. Well, this has been a fun stream. I hope it's been fun for all of you as well. Did I forget my goddamn water purifier mod? Do I not have it in my helmet? I did. Fuck. So I cannot drink piss. <laughs> I mean, I could, but it would be unwise. I can, I can drink the tea, though, so. And it is daytime. We have uh, been in here for quite a while. Where'd that bag come from? Good question. Very good question. What is tea but leaf piss? <laughs> You know, that is a very good point. In sniper voice, pace. Wow, that was actually not bad. <laughs> uh. Whoop. Okay, most of those got caught by the floor, but uh, let me try that again and kaboom. Good. There we go. Um, uh, um, did anybody else see that? My shell kind of loaded itself. <laughs> I think I just had some animation lag there. Interesting. Sometimes the animation lags behind the bullet a bit, and, uh, it, it looks funny. But I've never really had it lag that much, where the bullet was actually in the gun before my hand came on screen to act like it was loading it. Oh, yeah, no, I legitimately liked a lot of the animations in this game. It's just sometimes they're a little bit, uh, goofy. Pair tool. Well, I can make a claw hammer now. Uh, oh, oh, oh. That was what I wanted. Decrease melee stamina usage by 10%. Uh, yes. Do 10% more damage to coal and burnt wood. Nice. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay. As cool as the burning shaft mod is, I would like to... I would much more prefer needing less stamina to swing this beast. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's significantly less. It still takes a lot, but, uh, 10% less is good. Bow crafting. Once again, you're giving me everything I want. Or rather, you're giving me everything else, but every, but any, aside from what I want. I got there eventually, but I kind of had to do a bit of a roundabout. <laughs> I, lo I got lost mid-sentence, but uh, it's fine. I'm good. No more fire, unfortunately. But uh, if I get a quality three iron sledgehammer... Uh, thank you, <laughs> That was the most pathetically quiet death I've ever witnessed. Uh, but if I get a quality three iron sledgehammer, I believe anyway, that can equip three mods. Eh. Ah, oh, God, I'm so fucking slow. Is it... Is Joel open yet? No, uh, he'll be he'll be open soon. 
Yeah. Ow. Uh, fire gone. Uh, because uh, I took the burning shaft mod off the hammer and replaced it with the ergonomics mod, which recrease, uh, decreases the amount of stamina it takes to swing it by 10%. The thing about weapon mods in this game is it's worth equipping them even if you don't need them, because it just flat out increases the amount of damage that each weapon does the more mods you have on it. So, like, I do not need this red sight on this shotgun at all. Um, maybe I do. <laughs> As I, as I say that. <laughs> it, but it does make it do more damage regardless. Ow. And apparently we have crossed over into the Silent Hill dimension, as the fog has rolled in. Sir, uh, you are in violation of order 6330. Six, oh, yeah, uh, uh, die. It's about that time. I'm, my brain is weary, and uh, I should probably end the stream soon. <laughs> well, <laughs> he was in violation of order six. Oh my god, my brain. But yeah, we'll we'll turn in the quest. We'll wait for Joel to open. We'll turn in the quest, and uh, <sighs> yeah, then we'll call it a day from there. What uh, did Konami do this time, Dark Rise? What did they do this time? I think Seth needs a reboot. Well, thankfully, that's what I have. That's what I have this for. Ow! <laughs> Thank you very much, Joel. Open up! God damn it! I am jumping up and down impotently. Open the fucking door. <clears throat> do you know why they skipped Silent Hill 1? No, I do not. Why? Oh, hang on a second. I need to loot Joel's car. I need to crawl over to this forge. Okay, we are very close to the workstation. We just need three more of those books. We just need three more. We are close. <clears throat> Pardon me. What is in here? Oh, actually, that's pretty good. Lockpicks, glue, and uh, repair. Yeah, repair kits. I will take it. That's locked. So slow. Look, caveman men of cave may not skip leg day, but that no mean leg work good. Yeah. Hold on a second, Joel. Just gotta drag my sack full of loot in here. Okay. How you doing? I'm sure they are. Well, those are pretty shitty rewards, I gotta say. I guess I'll take the glue. I don't really need the 9mm because I don't really have any good guns that can use them. I have the pipe pistol, and I'm not even spec'd out to use it. So yeah, I guess I'll take the glue. Well, that was underwhelming. Thank you, Joel. <sighs> but, let's see. Do I have anything I want to sell? Um... Hold on, man. You have a great day now. Uh, yes, I will sell those boots. I love Caveman, Man of Cave. I do as well. He was just a random character that Chat and I came up with back in an old, uh, an older hardcore run, and he's just become the main character of these runs, and it's fantastic. What books do you have for sale, Joel? Forge ahead. Yes. Okay. I will buy. I will. T oh wait. How much are those? Do you only have one? You only have one. Well, it's better than nothing, so I guess I'll take it. And you know what? I'm gonna take your grill. Hmm. Isn't it the origin of Hauser 2? Yeah, pretty much. 
Hauser it, Hauser is uh to um House Flipper what Caveman Man of Cave is to this game. <clears throat> I'll take the pipes as well. Okay. I just need to Ooh, just uh, slink my way back to my bike and then I think we're gonna go ahead and end the stream there Ugh. they're doing it because they want to advertise a Silent Hill movie that's gonna come out which is made by the same people who made the previous Silent Hill movie which sucked of course of course does this game have the copper syndicate though we haven't come up with a main villain for this game yet I'm sure we will eventually. And before we end the stream, I'm going to send one more zombie to meet uh, to m meet my hammer. Um, I'm going to decapitate the zombie uh, in a second, or just cave their face in. Okay, that was super under. <laughs> I was out of stamina. I tried to do a power attack, and yeah. Anyway. Thank you all for joining me, folks. That's where I'm going to end it for today. I do appreciate you all joining me, and thank you to the new for, uh, new folks, folks who've uh, decided to show up as well. Ow. <clears throat> You're funny, robot. Well, thank you. Appreciate it, Zafiro. I will see you all again on Monday. I'm going to go take it easy for the rest of the night. I'm going to get myself uh, some food, and I shall talk to you all next time. Good night. <laughs>